ladies and gentlemen. This is Elias Babarawan with Learn English in Urdu with IBA. Today we are going to talk about the confidence and the topic of our lecture today is the confidence game. So here we go. When faced with a big challenge where potential failure seems to lurk every corner, maybe you've heard this advice before, be confident. And most likely this is what you think you'll hear it, if only without simple, but what is confidence? Take the belief that you are valuable, worthwhile, and capable, also known as self-esteem. Add in the optimism that comes when you are certain of your abilities and then empowered by these. Act courageously to face a challenge head on. This is confidence. It turns thoughts into action. So where does confidence even come from? There are several factors that impact confidence. Number one. What you're born with, such as your genes, which will impact the things like the balance of neurochemicals in your brain. Number two, how you are treated. This includes the social pressure of your environment. And three, the part you have control over, the choices you make, the risks you take. And how you think about and respond to challenges and setbacks. It is impossible to completely untangle these three factors, but the person who chooses remake certainly plays a major role in confidence development. By keeping in mind a few practical strategies, we do actually have the power to cultivate our own confidence. Strategy number one, a quick fix. There are a few tricks that can give you an immediate confidence boost in the short term. Picture your success when you're beginning a difficult task. Something as simple as listening to the Holy Quran with a deep concentration, it'll promote your feeling of power. You can even strike a powerful pose and give yourself a pep talk. A pep talk is a short speech intended to encourage people to work harder or try to win a game or a competition. Strategy number two. Believe in your ability to improve. If you're looking for a long-term chain, consider the way you think about your abilities and talents. Do you think they're fixed at birth? Or they can be developed like muscles? These beliefs matter because they can influence how you act when you face setbacks. If you have a fixed mindset, meaning you think instinctual talents are logged in place, you might give up. Assuming you've discovered something you're not very good at. But if you have a growth mindset and think your abilities can improve, a challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow. Neuroscience supports the growth mindset. The connections in your brain do get stronger and grow with study and practice. It also turns out on average, people who have a growth mindset are more successful, getting better grades, doing better in the face of talent. Strategy number three, practice failure. Face it, you're going to fail sometimes, everyone does. J.K. Rowling was rejected 12 times by the publisher before one picked up her Harry Potter. The Wright brothers built on history's failed attempts at flights, including some of their own before designing a successful airplane. Studies show that those who fail regularly and keep trying anyway are better equipped to respond to challenges and setbacks in a constructive way. To learn how to try different strategies, ask others for the advice, persevere. So think of a challenge you want to take on, realize it's not going to be easy, accept that you'll make mistakes, and be kind to yourself when you do. Give yourself a pep talk, stand up, 
and go for it. The excitement you'll feel knowing that whatever the result, you have gained greater knowledge and understanding. This is confidence. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.